when I mention this stuff in the Bible, is there. There's no guessing. And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women, and their spirit, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. And the women also of the angels who went astray shall become sirens. Kibo underscore 22. You just, um, you're probably going to hear the second part of this as an appetizer. Um, but we're still talking about the sirens. You read, I mean, you heard and read and seen what was on the screen. And no, I didn't make this up. That's that's in Enoch. 19 is blunt. You don't have to use an imagination. It's there. It says that the women were punished and they became sirens. The women were the wives of the, the, the angels, the fallen angels. The, the, the women that worship these angels rather than God made babies with these these fallen angels they were turned into sirens as punishment well these angels that lusted after these women they uh they got with the women they got bored with the women they got with the men they got bored with the men they, they got with beasts everything you see on cartoons and stuff is found somewhere in this bible and i'm gonna i'm gonna that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you exactly where it's at you don't have to use a cartoon imagination you don't have to think about this maybe it could be that this or that is there it says it plain as day but um their offspring the the, the children of men which were anything from this earth and the uh, uh, fallen angels created giants that's what that's what their offsprings were the giants were terrible Like I say, they were mixing with anything. And the giants' punishments were, you know, they got killed. But the, the some of the, all, the angels, their punishments was they were in prison physically, mentally, and spiritually. But the evil of their minds, their souls, are the evils of the day. And a lot of people don't know that either. <sighs> but how did I get into this? I got into this maybe about four months ago. Started reading Enoch. Enoch is so confusing. I stopped reading Enoch, but that part was clear. Because reading Enoch is like reading the King James Version. It's like, what are you talking about? Even though you're talking about it, I need you to speak English for 2023. But I got into that because it's a it's a it's a spirit of awakening going on in in this world. Um, there's some alleged man-made diseases, even with the help from our enemies, that was put here for population control. Population control and confusion are the weapons that's being used today. And they are, they're huge. But in this uh, alleged man-made population control disease, it isolated everybody. You know, we had to stay in our houses and people begin to think. All the lies that was being told on the news, millions of people dying a day people started thinking that ain't going on in my neighborhood I shoot with it not being as bad now I can only name three personally that died of this but every day the news was reporting in my neighborhood the count was getting bigger every day 
confusion. Um, people started waking up. People started losing losing businesses because their connects with some of our enemies weren't there anymore. We made we became even more of enemies to our enemies, and it's not there. People losing businesses, but people are also becoming independent and thinking and waking up and getting their own businesses. People are waking up on accident. They try to get us to take this uh, medicine. And when you take this medicine, it's the only way you can travel. The only way you can come to work is if you take this medicine. And people started thinking, why do I got to take this medicine? This allegedly man-made disease ain't even killing folks like that. What is going on? Why? 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 So the four of us think we've been in, we're awakening on accident. And um, that's a good thing. Because we've been in such a trance for so long. Um, an innocent book of history power, knowledge, which was the Bible, was used for confusion, for control of other people, to go by their agendas. Certain books were removed. Certain books didn't go along with those people's agendas. Certain people, certain books would teach you things that you weren't even supposed to know. So those books had to be taken out. So the Bible wasn't innocent anymore. It wasn't it wasn't the word anymore. All the questions to your answers, all the answers to your questions are in those books that was taken out. A lot of these preachers preach on stuff. And if you read these books, you would know the answers to the stuff they leave as question marks. There's confusion. Your mind is like, hmm, you should know this, but they should know this. Because their generation, for about three generations, didn't want you to know this. You see, they didn't want you to know you can tap into a higher you. All these people of the Bible, the, the heroes of it, they were tapped in. It's hoodoo, voodoo, voodoo. That third eye is important. If you look at every picture from back then, it had snakes right here. It represented awakening, removing that skin, seeing without your eyes, knowledge, power, sitting upright like a cobra, Let them, letting them chakras go through you. Chakras in tune. But they, they didn't want nobody tapping into that. They wanted to control. They didn't want you to know that 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 you can go outside and, and bathe in that, that hot sun and, and sit in that grass and your souls were portals. And all that just heals you. That's healing. They wanted to say, oh, you're worshiping the sun. That's hoodoo. That's voodoo. That's the devil. No, that was a tool given to us by the most high. That was tapping in. We could hear our ancestors talk through through nature. We could get higher power through nature. We were tapping in. But they didn't want you to know that. So if it wasn't just for God, it was the devil. So a lot of this stuff they had they had our parent our grandparents and about three of their generations in the USA in the trans. So these preachers don't know this stuff. They don't they 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 heard that some of these books were of the devil. That's all they that's the only answer. So a lot of a lot of them were sleep, which caused our generation to kind of be our generation was kind of rebellious. We're like we started coming to the conclusion 
act. Something's not right. And we started seeing things, having all these conspiracy theories, but they were kind of true. So, a scholar told me, he said, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but if you don't use that knowledge, you're useless. What is you what is you obtaining it for if you can't use it? We're waking up. We're becoming woke. We just have to use it because they're laughing at us. They're so blunt with it. They they making video they're making movies. They clone Tyrone. They're telling on how everything works. They come to the conclusion where they can't hide it anymore. Aliens are they're telling you they've been here, they're real. They've been communicating. All the theories are real. Because this man-made disease kind of backfired and got people thinking because people see none of the stuff they were saying on the news. If you can isolate yourself from the news and think for yourself and look around, it wasn't true. So We're finding out that aliens, everything we thought that existed, all the conspiracies are true. That's a blessing for our generation. We didn't know this stuff, but we didn't really know if we really knew. Clones, they clone Tyrone. How blunt can you be? But as I was saying earlier, That's a blessing because we're becoming woke. But again, they're like, what are you going to do about it? But as I was saying earlier, being from the USA, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you live not in the USA, then all this stuff is nothing to you. People know about sirens. They've encountered sirens. They know you stay away from the beautiful women that appear near waters. They know you would disappear for years. They know your soul might be taken for years. I mean, not for years, but just might be taken. There's so many stories. And my friends have encountered friends from different countries telling them these stories and not lying about it. They're all similar. And none of the people even know each other has told me these stories as from not from the USA. So it's like we've been new, but we didn't know. I could tell you exactly where these sirens are. And um, they, I mean, they, these people know everything that glitters is definitely not gold. You do not touch everything that glitters. You do not go near these women. Some of them are supposedly even on land, you know, beautiful looking beings out of country that don't look right. Too beautiful for their own good. Don't mess with them. But anyways, that's 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 a rant of how I stumbled across this these sirens in the Bible and the book of Enoch. Since then I've quit reading so much past Enoch. I had to re just refresh my memory because I was going to start jotting all these questions that were being answered in these books of the Bibles that were not included anymore. And I was gonna start jotting this down, but I'm like, we have journals from technology online like YouTube recorded duh I ain't gotta jot it down and then it then it could be something could happen to it and I'm very clumsy and rough on stuff so my tablet or journal whatever would get thrown away uh, water on it so this is how all this came to be but I have a lot more stuff that I need. I got to share a lot of questions. Like I, I can, I go to a, if you go to church and you've read some of these books that's taken out, it's like, you know, more than a, than a preacher almost. Cause a lot of these preachers are older and they don't, they, they don't, they, they haven't read these books and the Bible don't go into detail about a lot of this stuff. It's a lot of questions I had that get answered in these books of the Bible that's taken out. 
So it's like you're sitting up in there and you really know the answers and it's like you have a little bit more wisdom than them. Nothing but confusion. Nothing but confusion. So you're feeling out of tune with them. Confusion. But people are waking up.